Hello, um, Jack here from White Wanderer. Uh, apologies for the backdrop. I'm um, I'm currently at work on a lunch break, so I'm not out in the field somewhere with a lovely uh, view behind me. Yes, but uh, never mind. I just wanted to do a quick video, a quick follow-up video to the recent video which came out about uh, Ventnor, uh, why Ventnor needs a railway. Now, in this video, I, I argue my point, which is that a solution is needed and the railway infrastructure, a lot of the underpinnings of the railway infrastructure is still there, a lot of the track bed. Therefore, seeing as trains, electric trains especially, are the most economically friendly way to travel, it would potentially benefit us if we looked at reinstating the railway into Ventnor. Of course, as I say in the video, this has come around quite a few times in the past. But the reason I'm bringing it up now is because, again, as I state in the video, Leeson Road is now shut. The road from Roxall to Ventnor is also not looking too well, shall we say. And so we do need an alternative. We do need a transport alternative. I'm not saying it would be nice if we had a railway. I'm saying that we need a solution to what is happening. Maybe the railway is the solution. If not, what is the solution? So that was my argument. And there's been a huge reaction uh, to this. Uh, lots of comments from both sides, which is fantastic. It's exactly, exactly what I, uh, I wanted and uh, exactly what I was setting out to do with the video. So far, we've had some uh, really interesting comments as well. We've had ones that are very in depth about uh, how it could be possible. Uh, ones that are very in depth about how it is not possible. Uh, ones suggesting using the tunnel itself as a roadway. I haven't been able to go through all the comments because there's comments on Facebook and YouTube and Instagram and I've been working and haven't had a huge amount of time to go through them yet. Uh, so apologies if I haven't got around to answering your comment. I'm trying to answer every single one, but a couple of them do slip through the net. Uh, after tea tonight, I will be uh, sitting down and scouring through them and trying to answer as many as possible, not answer, um, trying to reply to as many as possible. Of a few of the comments that I have read and have replied to, there have been a few who, which have uh, talked about, obviously, about cost and um, whether it would cost more to reinstate the railway than it would to reroute the roads, especially Leeson Road. Um, now, I think it would be cheaper to reinstate the railway because a lot of the underpinnings of the railway are still there. Um, with the road itself to reroute Leeson Road, you would have to first purchase the land, find the land first, find the land to be able to, um, which is sturdy enough to be able to reroute the road, then purchase the land, then dig out and reinforce the land for it to be able to support a road, for it to be able to support uh, traffic. Now with the railway, like I said, a lot of the underpinnings are still there. The embankment, um, the stretch from Shanklin to Roxall. A couple of you may know about um, a government scheme called uh, Restore your railway fund and this is an ongoing scheme which uh, as the title suggests restores old railways and um, there are currently eight which have which are in the process of receiving the treatment um, there's one that's already been uh, finished uh, in 2021 which is the Oakhampton to Exeter line the Dartmoor line and um, this one uh, was completely backed by this by this fund by this government scheme. It would have to be approved, but given the um, given the severity of the situation, where we could find ourselves in the next decade or so without a serious road connection to Ventnor, then I think it's something that would stand up quite strong. But I may be wrong. What do you think? Am I banging my head against a wall here? Possibly. But, as I say, um, a solution is needed. Anyway, if you do think that you do have a better solution than me, which is very possible, uh, to the issue of the roads, then make sure you do leave a comment. Uh, try and leave the comments, if, if possible, try and leave the comments on the YouTube uh, video from now on, so I can. it's a lot easier to access to, uh, to read for me, because uh, the 
on the Facebook, on Facebook, it does get shared to different groups, and then you've got different comment sections on different groups um, on the same video, which is kind of it's, it's very. Some of them do get lost, so it's a lot easier to keep the the comments on the YouTube um, on the YouTube video itself, the original video. Anyway, I'd better get back to work, otherwise I'll look lazy. So um, I will see you next time. Do make sure you do have your say in the comments, and um, yeah. See you soon.